Good afternoon. I'm Rich Das. I'm the Executive Vice President of Open Systems Media. I lead the embedded IoT teams for embedded computing design. One of the things that we talk about all the time is robotics. Um, a, what does it mean to somebody? How do we make people's lives easier? But we tend to talk from the developer's perspective. So um, certainly how can we make the developer's life easier? But more importantly for this discussion, um, what does it take to design some of these robotics types of, of platforms? And robotics means different things to different people. Uh, it could be things that are walking around on an industrial floor. It could be something that looks less like a traditional robot, but performs the same functions as a delivery type vehicle. Um, but to really get into this, I wanted to talk to somebody who's way more expert at this than I am. And that'll be Eric Yu. He is a product manager for AD Link. How you doing, Eric? Hi, Rich. I'm good. Good. I'm glad to yeah. hear that. So AD Link is very much into this robotics, and and um, this is this has been some work that you guys have been doing for a few years, I assume. Um, I'd love for you to share what's what's the latest with not just uh, AD Link, but where the industry in general is going. Yeah, Rich, uh, let me share my present presentation so that I could uh, explain more about what we do in the field. Yeah. So when we were kids, everybody talked about having a robot, how great it would be to have a robot in the house to do things for you. Um, if you could have an intelligent robot right now, what would you ask it to do for you? Uh, I was thinking maybe a service robot that could, you know, my, make my life easier so uh in fact uh intelligent robots uh serving us uh is no longer a distant future so let me dive into my slides uh and uh, i would uh, explain what we can do to achieve that all right so uh delivery service uh robot is one of the major AMR applications. So uh, right here, uh, we have this, uh, you know, our product. It has some uh, features that can do this uh, delivery service robot a really good job. So for example, we are currently working with a Korean tech firm and uh, that tech firm uh, deployed their delivery service robot in their new headquarter office building. So delivery service robot uh, usually requires uh, proximity sensors, ultrasonic sensors, and uh, some cameras, and also maybe some LiDAR. So in their office building setting, so for example, for example, if an employee, uh, they would like to order some uh, coffee from their in-house Starbucks uh, shop, they could just uh, order it online. And uh, the guy from the Starbucks, when they finished uh, preparing the coffee, they will load the uh, coffee into the storage compartment in the service robot. And that service robot well, based on the order from the uh, employee and uh, goes uh, directly right to the cube of that employee, uh, of that employee. And uh, at that time, it will do a uh, facial recognition and make sure that this is the right person who orders the uh, coffee. So <clears throat> with all this uh, delivery uh, robot, I mentioned, um, I would also like to uh, give everyone an uh, introduction about our uh, product portfolio. So let me dive into the next slide and uh, introduce what AdLink can offer for our customer to achieve their application and their goals. All right. <clears throat> So this is the this is our uh, Rust uh, Rust two robotic uh, controllers. Uh, we have two uh, families. One is the NVIDIA based system, 
uh, which is called uh, uh, ROS Cube X. The other one is the uh, Intel based system, which is called ROS Cube I. And the uh, customer can choose uh, which system they would like to use uh, depending their depending upon their use cases. Um, on the left hand side is the ROS Cube uh, 59 series. This is our latest product. Uh, it features a lot of stuff. It has the latest uh, AGX Orin GPU module and uh, GMSL2 or FPD link interfaces for camera transmission. Um, GMSL2 and uh, FPD link uh, interfaces are the most popular interfaces used for high bandwidth uh, long distance transmission for camera image. It is capable of uh, uh, this uh, ROS Cube uh, X is capable of doing uh, sensor fusion. And uh, we also have a variety of camera drivers ready to save our uh, customer time for developing their uh, platform. So let's dive into the next slide and explain it in uh, more detail. So <clears throat> this is our solution stack. Um, our ROS2 controller have two families, uh, just as I mentioned. One is the uh, NVIDIA based, the other one is Intel based. So our NVIDIA based system has this uh, built-in uh, BSP uh, based on Jetpack released by NVIDIA. And EdgeGo is one of our uh, AD-Link developed uh, SDK. This is uh, capable of uh, enabling uh, users to remote control and uh, monitor the status of the controller. The other one is the uh, Neuron SDK. Uh, it is an integrated software package uh, for fast prototyping the robotic robotic applications on ROS2. Uh, this Neuron app uh, can also do these uh, things such as SLAM and uh, navigation. Uh, we also have solution partners such as uh, FA Robot. Uh, this is a joint venture of uh, from uh, Foxconn and AD-Link. Uh, they are uh, they are providing uh, this service called Swarm uh, Autonomous Robot Solutions, which allows uh, users to deploy their applications in uh, factories or uh, different settings. Uh, Tier 4 is also one of our strategic partner partners uh, who is uh, specialized in autonomous driving technology. Uh, other sensor partners, uh, such as um, Tier 4, uh, Autobright, Sensing, and Leopard, they provide uh, GMSL2 cameras. Uh, and also, we are working with Auster from Germany. They provide uh, LIDARs. So moving on to our next slide. Uh, so what what are the uh, benefits and values of our products? <laughs> so right here, we have three uh, advantages and values for our customers. Uh, one is that our teams have years of experience in integrating sensors on our system. And the other one is that we also have R&D experts in software team who are specialized in uh, BSP customization. Uh, last but not least, our Neuron SDK is a basic tool for uh, start startup de developers for fast prototyping. If I could interrupt you for a second, Eric, um, I, have a, I have a question I'd like to ask you. Um, yeah. You mentioned that AD-Link's strength is, is in its integration. So if, if, if a development team wants to work with, with AD-Link, what service flow can AD-Link provide? Yes, that's a really good question, Rich. Um, so here's what we do. Uh, regarding the service flow, 
editing will engage in uh, an in-depth discussion with the customer and customer, uh, they will provide us with a product spec sheet they want to uh, deploy in their field. After receiving the spec sheet, uh, Adlink will cross-check with all the specs uh, on our uh, existing products. And uh, after sorting out the needs of the customer, we would recommend one uh, model to our customer. Uh, with customer's consent, we will sh uh, ship out an engineering sample to our customer for further testing. Uh, during some during their tests, customer will definitely uh, come up come up with uh, all sorts of questions. We have a very solid team to uh, reply all the questions that customers have. So, with all that said, if everything goes well, we will go ahead and do a quick POC and do the implement implementation with a customer. Okay, uh, I hate to keep interrupting you, but I, I thought of another question here. Um, usually these robots require uh, different types of sensors. Um, so what sort of integration service can a D-Link provide um, for the sensor system integration? That's also a very good question, Rich. So why don't we uh, dive into the next slide? I will give a better uh, explanation. So let's take a let's take a service robot for example. Uh, we would recommend a customer that uh, RTX fifty nine G is the best fit for sensor fusion, uh, because uh, system uh, usually involves uh, multiple cameras and uh, lidars. So for the sake of image consistency and service robot safety camera and LiDAR images, sensor, uh, sensor fusion and frame sync are very important. So this idea sounds very vague. So I prepare for the next slide, uh, which has some videos for our customer to understand more of what we do. Yeah. So for the sensor fusion demonstration, we have two videos right here. Uh, on left hand side, it's the uh, sensor fusion by uh, us and tier four. So as you can see here, all these images are from uh, different camera angles, like uh, in, in the front, on the left hand side, or right hand side, on the rear. All these images are combined with uh, images from camera and uh, the LiDAR. In this case, uh, the LiDAR image is superimposed onto the uh, camera image. So you can see that, uh, let me, yeah, so you can see that there are some uh, different colors. So the red color implies the, uh, the object is, uh, near the uh, camera. And the green color implies that that object is further away from the camera. So on the right hand side, we have this um, frame synchronization of different cameras. In this case, uh, we have eight cameras connected to uh, RQX 59G. As you can see right here, this uh, this accuracy can be down to a thousand uh, second. All for all eight cameras are frame synced. And that means when the user uh, deploy their cameras onto their uh, buses or autonomous vehicles, all these uh, cameras from different sides, their images are frame synced. So they can avoid any uh, image inconsistency on the road. That is very important. So with all the those mentioned uh, powerful frame sync and sensor fusion, what sort of application scenarios can this uh, product be applied to? 
So we've also we've already mentioned the uh, service robot in our first slide. Uh, so this uh, RQX59 can also do AMR and robotics applications, especially in the uh, warehouse logistics and uh, factory automation and smart manufacturing. The other application is the uh, autonomous uh, vehicle. Uh, this can be deployed in uh, smart city and intelligent uh, transmit, uh, transportation. With all those mentioned uh, powerful frame sync and sensor fusion uh, functions, what sort of uh, application scenario can this product uh, be applied to? Yeah. So forklift is one of the vehicles uh, being used in factories. Uh, current trend in the factory is that uh, a lot of them are using uh, AGV as their main computer in the forklift. So AGV, AGV means that uh, the vehicle is uh, track guided and a lot of uh, human uh, maintenance is uh, involved. What we propose here is that uh, RQX59 system, when it is uh, applied into this scenario, customer can upgrade their AGV uh, forklift to AMR forklift. So that allows our customer to really uh, maintain their forklift. Less human is required and all those algorithms is in the computer. This uh, forklift can go anywhere without the guided tracks. So with the camera and LiDAR frame sync and also the proximity sensor and ultrasonic sensors right here, uh, we can achieve the uh, forklift safety in the warehouse. So on to our uh, third scenario, which is uh, autonomous driving. Uh, this is the uh, future of public transit. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, we are currently working with a customer in Japan, and this is one of our su successful cases. Uh, they are called Tier 4, and Tier 4 use our Oculus 59G as an edge perception kit in their self-driving buses at the airport and urban areas. So here for use uh, our kit, RQX 58G, and also their uh, cameras. So by combining their eight cameras and uh, LIDARs, uh, we can achieve uh, sensor fusion by superimposing uh, LIDAR images on camera images. This can produce data such as uh, object detection, localization, mapping, and segmentation. Um, another main feature is the frame sync uh, function, just as uh, I mentioned in previous slides. This allows uh, you know, multiple cameras image on the vehicle to be perfectly in sync with each other to avoid unnecessary danger. So this percep perception kit includes our RQX system, Barcar cables, Air Force uh, C1 camera with different uh, HFOV angles to choose from. With all previously mentioned uh, Rust Cube benefits, why we recommend customer to choose our ROS Cube, uh, ROS2 solution. So AMR, as the name implies, is an autonomous mobile robot. It involves multiple sensors, such as cameras, lidars, proximity sensors, etc. ROS2 is an open source uh, middleware platform. Our ROS Cube serves as a perfect platform to accommodate all the needs from our customers. Another feature is that 
GMSL2 and FPD Link 3 camera plus the LiDAR with frame sync function is vital for AMR or autonomous vehicles. AD Link also incorporated several major uh, features such as uh, GMSL2 or FPD Link cameras from key vendors. Drivers are ready and uh, developed by AdLink to save our users a lot of time in their early stage of de development. Another feature is that compre comprehensive I.O. interfaces that can allow users to plug in various sensors for different applications. So Rust Cube X series already include the uh, customized BSP with the latest uh, Jetpack 5.1.2 from NVIDIA based on Ubuntu 20.04. And it saves our users a lot of time for OS operating system compatibility tests. So last but not least, uh, I guess some of, our, some of our customer will have some questions about uh, the NVIDIA GPU modules. So currently NVIDIA's main focus is on AI and AMR related applications. Editing has caught up this trend. NVIDIA Jetson Orin is the latest uh, GPU module in the market. Our RQX 59G has adopted this module. Customer may have some questions about, uh, you know, this, how this uh, computing power is uh, measured compared with our last generation. So right here, we can see that the computing power of the AGX Xavier, which is used in our RQX 59G previous generation is about uh, 32 tops. And our latest uh, model, RQ, RQX 59G is about 200 tops. That is eight times more than the previous generation regarding the uh, computing power. So this high computing power provides a perfect solution for, for processing up to eight camera images. And also the power consumption of this module is very low. Just an AGX or RIM module, 32 gigabyte is about 15 to 40 watts. 64 gigabyte is about 15 to 60 watts. So with all these benefits that I mentioned, I believe that editing can provide a very good service flow and a very good product value and excellent customer service for our uh, customers. Thank you very much. Very, very interesting, Eric. Um, I know I certainly learned a lot from that. So from the audience's perspective, um, if if the developer knows that this is something that they need to do, they need to develop an application that's based on robotics, what's the first thing that they should be doing? What's the starting point? Well, Rich, um, usually when we engage in customer, we would, uh, we would ask them some questions such as uh, what kind of uh, scenarios that they will be applying their robots in and what application are they going to do? So for example, we have a customer in Korea and this Korean customer told us that they would like to uh, use our Roscue X in their uh, service robot. So that's the application. And they are going to put their service robot in their office building. And they would like to use NVIDIA based system. And that's a very, uh, that's, those are some of the important uh, information for us. 
and then we would uh, pick one model for them. And after that, we'll get into the details such as uh, what kind of uh, sensors they are going to put plug into the I.O. For example, this uh, Korean customer, they would like to use uh, GMSO2 cameras. And the uh, first thing we do is that we will ask them if they uh, would like to choose the cameras that we provided. But in this case, they don't want to use the camera we provided. They choose uh, other cameras from other vendors. And then we'll ask more in de uh, we'll ask more information in de detail, such as the uh, their IC chip, uh, if it's uh, compatible with the ROS cube. And after that, all the uh, compatibility issue is solved. We are all good. And uh, we send them the drivers and then do some testing. Right now they are satisfied. We are ready to get into a POC phase. Yeah. Very That's good. The whole process. Excellent. So now we have our starting point. Uh, well, thank you very much, Eric. This this has been very educational. Thank you. That was Eric Yu. He is a product manager for AD Link, and I'm Rich Nass with Open Systems Media.